The Magi were Persian, Iranian interpreters of omens and dreams. That's what they were. They were like astrologers, diviners. They were members of a high social class in their culture. I find this interesting because such divination was forbidden under the Jewish law. Jewish, Jewish prophets, anybody who claimed to be a wise man or an advisor could not engage in that kind of astrology and divination. And, and I'm going to show you something before we close today that, that I almost guarantee you've never even seen before, you've never noticed before. But God is not endorsing astrology, but he is moving them from divination to revelation. He's moving them from divination at the beginning to revelation at the end. And he calls these wise men in a way that they understand to come to Christ, but also to teach us about this principle of transformation 20 centuries later. Before they took one step out of their front doors, they were intending to worship. They knew this was no ordinary child. Their intention all along, verse 2 says, was to worship. And this is something we have to understand because so many times we confuse the doorway with the destination. And we come into church and we feel something, you know, Pastor Daniel will play a, a song or lead us in a song, and it really moves us, and we think, okay, that's the destination. I feel God. No, that's your emotion. I have felt the same thing in many, many concerts. It's a wonderful, emotions are a wonderful doorway, but they're a lousy destination because if that's as far as you go, you haven't worshipped. You've simply pleased your flesh. Now, it is, ple is flesh-pleasing when God invites us. In other words, it feels good. It feels good to we are created as physical beings. And it feels good when God calls us into his presence. But if we leave it at the place of the call, and if we leave it at the place of the feel good in the moment, we haven't entered into worship at all.